Arizona Cardinals second round pick BJ Ojolari has still yet to sign his rookie deal. With preseason less than a month away, what's the holdup? Let's talk about what might be going on. All right, everybody, welcome back into another video. Definitely do me a huge favor, smack the like button on this video and subscribe for more Arizona Cardinals content. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a doozy to talk about today, and that is that the Arizona Cardinals second round pick BJ Ojolari out of LSU has still yet to sign his rookie deal. And he seems to be one of the, the, the few out there that have not signed their rookie deal. Now, as of right now, the Arizona Cardinals, all their round picks, they have signed them, except for B.J. Ojolari. Now, is there room for concern? Yes, there is, uh, at least to me, because we are sitting less than 30 days away from the opening of preseason. Yes, there's a little concern going around with B.J. Ojolari not signing his rookie deal. Now, we got our, our first rounder, right? We got all the other round picks signed up to the rookie deal, but just B.J. Ojolari seems to be the one that's kind of holding out. Now, yes, he was the second rounder. He was picked up 41st overall. Is there a level of panic? I would say yes, but not extremely high, and here's the reason why. Bryce Young, first overall quarterback that was drafted to the Carolina Panthers, Anthony Richardson, fourth overall pick to the uh to the Colts. We also have Will Levis, CJ Stroud. Those are to to name a few of, of people that still haven't signed their their rookie deals as well. Now we do have a lot of second rounder as well like Brian Branch, Luke uh, Musgrave, Jaden Reed. A lot of second rounders seem to be kind of holding out and I believe the whole situation um stands from uh, guaranteed money I, I think it all has to do with obviously their contract they might want more guaranteed money that they, they want maybe closer to first round pick money we don't 100 percent know but this is probably the first time i've seen something like this where we have a list of over 20 plus big name players that still haven't signed their rookie deals right including keely ringo and, and all the top quarterbacks out there now do i feel like this is going to get resolved yes i do believe that the arizona cardinals and you know bj ojalari will be coming to a deal soon at least hopefully fingers crossed because bj ojalari believe it or not was probably one of the most favorite picks coming into the coming out of this year's draft for the arizona cardinals and now the great thing is that he did show up to the things that he's supposed to be showing up up for but has not been a full go due to an injury and what excited me the most about bj ojalari was basically his stats and the way that he played coming out of lsu he was playing for lsu from 2020 to 2022 had a combined 25.5 tackles for loss and 16.5 sacks in total for the three years so it's not numbers that scream out there that say this guy's going to be a superstar but i do think he's going to be a solid player in this year's draft now he does have a brother playing currently in the nfl and that is aziz ojolari also a really good player a outside linebacker for his current team now this is exactly what he's going to be playing for the arizona cardinals if he does decide to sign that contract now i was doing a little research because I've never seen anything like this um, because he is such a high round pick. You would really think that he would be signing that contract, right? It, it I think guaranteed money is a very, very big deal, and maybe a lot of second round picks got together and say, hey, let's not settle for what they're providing us, right? Let's kind of hold out and see what they can go ahead and provide. Now, there is going to be some consequences if the Arizona Cardinals do not decide to sign or cannot become or, or cannot come to an agreement with BJ Ojolari and the consequences are if the Arizona Cardinals do not sign him and they don't come to a agreement, they can hold out for that 2023 season, being the player can hold out for the 2023 season and can re-enter into the draft next year. Now, that's obviously something that we don't want as Arizona Cardinal fans, as an Arizona Cardinal organization. We want to sign B.J. Ozolari. Now, we did hear Monty Ostin Fort come out and say that he has no you know, worries that they most likely will be getting this resolved. It's all our contract negotiation at this very moment. So we're going to allow him to cook. We're going to allow him to, 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 to make things right because... I can't imagine our second round pick holding out for the 2023 season. That would be absolutely terrible. Um, and we could definitely use his services, especially coming out of LSU. I think he's probably one of the best draft picks that we ended up getting out in this year's draft. So, ladies and gentlemen, what is your level of... 
I guess, panic going with this whole BJ Ojolari situation. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so very much for tuning in. As always, have a great rest of your day and go Cards.